All right, folks. Okay, so we're starting a new unit, and it's a multi-genre unit. So in this unit, we're going to read um, and look at texts from all different genres. So it could be video, um, it could be fiction, poetry, nonfiction, drama, just anything you can read or watch to gain information we're going to look at. And the reason why we're going to do all these different kinds of genres together is so that we could answer these questions. So what genre features or clues do I need to be looking for as a reader to understand the text I'm reading, right? Like in order to read a poem, you're going to need some different clues or some different skills than you would be to read a nonfiction piece or to watch a movie, right? So what are those things that I need to know about the, the genre, like poetry or fiction, um, so that I can understand it better? And what are those clues, okay? The next question is what genre features do I like and want to incorporate in my writing style? So one of the reasons why we read text is not just to understand what they mean, but also to think about what writers do that are interesting that we want to do as well, right? So um, maybe it's figurative language or imagery or how they build characters or how they get to thesis um, or any of these things. So what are these features and how can I incorporate them in my writing style, okay? Uh, which features or which genres are the easiest to understand and which ones are the hardest and why? So a lot of people really hate um, reading poetry, right? Because it's hard um, to understand. They don't get it. Um, and then other people find like watching a movie really easy to understand. Depends on the movie though, right? But uh, easier to understand or like reading a short story, it's easier to understand what's going on. Um, so why is that? What about each genre makes it easier or harder to understand? Okay, we're going to be thinking about that as well. And the last question we want to think about is, why do writers use different genres to discuss the same topic, right? Like, you could have a poem about love, you could have a play about love, you could have a movie, short story about love, a nonfiction article about love, like telling you how to find love online or how to meet people during a pandemic safely, all these other things, right? So why? Why do we use all these different genres to talk about the same topic? Why don't we all, why don't we just have poetry or why don't we just have articles? Okay, so be thinking about that. What about these genre features um, are unique and make it interesting to write about in different ways? So those are the things we're trying to kind of figure out in this unit. And we're going to do so as readers and as writers. We're going to practice writing some of these things as well. But don't worry about that. We'll get there later. Okay, so today, tonight, whatever for your work, um, your assignment is to listen to the different versions of the Office theme song. So this dude right here did the Office theme song in 10 different genres, like heavy metal or like um, country or, or like pop dance music, right? So he does it different ways, okay? And then after you listen to them, you want to answer these questions in complete sentences. So how did the song, how did two of the songs make you feel? You don't have to talk about all 10 of them. Just pick two. How did the song or the style of the, of the song from The Office make you feel? Um, what about that style genre made, of music made you feel that way? So like if you said that um, the blues version made me feel kind of groovy, why? What about the way it's played made you feel that way? And then what occasion or reason would you listen to each song? So of those two songs, when, when would you listen to them and why, right? Like you don't listen to heavy metal um, when you are at a wedding uh, and they're about to kiss the bride scene, right? Like you just don't do that. Um, and then again, you don't like listen to that sort of thing, heavy metal necessarily like at a funeral, right? Each genre has a purpose. So, and a time a place for that. So think about when you would listen to those things. Okay. So that's our assignment. That's an intro to the unit and kind of the big things that we're going to be thinking about as we go along.